Hello everyone, welcome back to Grow Med. As the exam is near, so uh, all the best to everyone. And uh, now uh, in this video, I will share a few important must-know images which were asked in the past years also. Okay, so expecting that some of the questions uh, images will definitely come from this. Okay, so it will be a quick recall kind of a video which will help you in the quick recall of the important things. Okay, so let's start. The first image, this image is from the OBG. And as you can see here, this is the Bartholin cyst. Okay, so... Uh, let me write it down first so questions are asked like uh, giving the image they'll just ask for the diagnosis or they can ask like from where does it arises so it arises due to the infection of this bartholin glands okay and treatment is the marsupialization okay so then the next image this is an image of the breast and image of the mammography and this is the calcification so this popcorn uh, is called as a popcorn calcification and this is seen in case of fibroadenoma so they can just give the image and they can ask what is the diagnosis so it is the fibroadenoma which is the benign condition in the young females okay also known as a breast mouse so popcorn calcification then moving on to the next image this image is of the hysterosalpingography so they can just ask like two questions can be asked from this first one is what kind of imaging is carried out in this process so it is the hysterosalpingography the second image which can be asked is like what is the diagnosis what is the uterus seen so it is a septate uh, uterus as you can see here that there is a septum if it was a normal uterus no this will also be filled with the hsd but as there is a filling defect present here so it is suggestive of the septate uterus okay then uh, the next image this image is uh, of a pediatric condition called as a croup in which you can see here the steeple sign on the x-ray okay so uh, the questions are asked croup is a famous famous topic and uh, you can expect a question from this one so uh, questions are asked on the treatment which is the nebulization then conservative management and uh, then the causative organisms and this x-ray they will give okay then the next image so this image from the anatomy about the brain marking so this is a repeat uh, image and they can give any of the following marking from the brain and they can ask what is the structure marked like see this this is the putamen here this here comes the internal capsule here comes the thalamus okay then this is the quadrate head of the quadrate this is the corpus callosum which will come here this is the ventricle the lateral ventricle okay then this is the third ventricle this is the thalamus sorry this is the thalamus thalamus comes here then the internal uh, capsule posterior horn it is see it comes like this okay so an inti uh, this what an internal capsule this is the anterior horn this is the posterior horn then a globus pallidus comes somewhere here the, the sorry the image is not clear in this you can see here this lentiform nucleus which is the lens shaped then just there it will come here globus pallidus and in between them there will be the limb the internal capsule okay then this is the straight sinus this was also asked in the exam pyq okay so the things which are marked in the uh, what red mark the star mark these were all the pyqs asked okay then the next image from the radio as well as the orthopedic which is the bone tumor so what is the bone tumor given in this image it is the giant cell tumor giant tumor okay so as you can see here the soap bubble appearance seen it is seen with the uh, giant cell tumor then this image from the ENT a famous image asked multiple time in the FMG as well as the NEET exam so this image you know as you can see here that there is some abnormal swelling present here so this uh, diagnosis is the laryngo C famous famous question and the pattern of the question is like similar they can ask a clinical case uh, in which they will be describing a trumpet blower uh, he will come with the swelling abnormal swelling in the neck on x-ray this is given what is the diagnosis so it is the laryngo c okay so moving on to the next question and question uh, image from the medicine uh, as well as surgery also sometimes asked in both okay so you can see here that the ct of the chest and a tennis ball appearance is seen so it is the seen in the aortic dissection okay so aortic T 
ठीक है देन दिस इज द आयोटा एंड द आयोटा इज स्प्लिट इन टू द टू लेयर्स ओके देन मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट इमेज सो दिस इमेज अगेन फ्रॉम द मेडिसिन एंड यू कैन सी हियर दैट देर इज फ्लूड फिल्ड हियर फ्लूड इज फिल्ड इन द लेफ्ट लंग and uh, this is called as a pleural effusion or the hydrothorax pleural if not exactly pleural effusion but uh, hydrothorax okay so this one you can see here image but whereas the opposite lung this one is normal you can see here this uh, costophrenic angle and uh, the other things also then the next image image from the surgery so this image uh, necrotizing fasciitis it is and questions are asked let me write it first next and this is a polymicrobial infection involving a lot of uh, microorganisms okay necrotizing fasciitis then moving on this image is also important one asked in the both neat as well as the fmge and this image you know uh, this what um, uh, asked in anatomy as well as orthopedic okay so this sign is called as a poppy's sign poppy's sign they can ask what is this sign called as and they can ask what is the reason for this the reason for this is the rupture of the biceps tendon rupture of the tendon of the bicep okay then the next image image of the uh, larynx and this is a pediatric condition called as the laryngomalacia quite famous question and i think like after seeing this image you might have come to a diagnosis okay easily laryngomalacia you can see the omega shaped epiglottis and uh, yes this is the that ringo malaysia okay the questions are asked like on the treatment like what treatment you will be doing for the laryngo malaysia so it is what we'll be doing conservative management until it is severe if it is severe then only we'll incubate the baby and otherwise we will be managing it um conservatively okay then the next image so you can see here this is the radiograph and you can see here there is air under the diaphragm so this uh, is called as air under the diaphragm and uh, this is seen in case of the perforation of um the bowel and the most common for cause for that is the peptic ulcer so when there is peptic ulcer in the stomach it will cause perforation actually in the duodenum then the air from the stomach will Uh, go and accumulate under the diaphragm giving this appearance okay quite famous image this one also then the next image of the bladder this is called as the neurogenic bladder neuro and this sign is called as a christmas bladder because xmas tree bladder because it looks like its appearance is like a christmas tree of okay, neurogenic bladder then the next image muckel's diverticulum it was a quite famous uh, question of the fmg and this question the topic is repeated multiple times so i suggest you to uh, look at all the points regarding this um, uh, meckel's diverticulum and diverticula and uh, this is the image okay then the next image from the obg again so you can see a formation of a passage that is the fistula between the bladder and the vagina so it is called as the vesico vaginal fistula vesico okay and uh, questions are asked like on the treatment of this as well as the diagnosis diagnosis we will be doing by the three swab test okay and if it is formed between this uh, rectum and the vagina then it will be called as a recto vaginal fistula so depends on where the location is formed but the most common type is this vesico vaginal okay so the complaint will be like dribbling of the urine in the female so a case can also be asked then uh, image from the ophthalmology tdm this one is called as the tdm because there is a um, flap formation of a flap like structure uh, covering the um, eye cornea okay cornea and the iris okay so this one triangular shaped structure flap over the eyes so this is called as a tdm then the next image image uh, again a famous topic congenital diaphragmatic hernia so you can see here multiple air fluid levels suggestive of the small intestine so small intestine is herniated into the thorax through this defect present here and uh, the lungs you can see here they are pushed towards one side lung and the heart are pushed towards one side okay 
so this is about the congenital diaphragmatic hernia then moving on to the next image to another two important images from the anatomy so this one is the gastroschisis and this image is called as the omphalo seal okay so how you can uh, appreciate here the differentiate between these two is that on fallow seal the mem uh, contents will be covered with the membrane and this membrane is what the um, amniotic membrane and the most common uh, herniated organ in this one is the liver whereas in the gastroschisis it is the intestine you can see here the intestinal loops herniating out and it is not covered with any membrane okay so gastroschisis and the omphalo seals so the management is the immediate reduction of these contents and putting a what a mesh i think to uh, closure of the defect okay immediate uh, reduction of the content and closure of the um, defect so these were some important images okay uh, which were repeated and uh, if you want another session of this image based question then uh, comment below uh, so i'll be back with another few important images which are asked okay so for more amazing things follow gromed subscribe to gromed and tap the bell icon you can join for the pdf you can join the telegram channel and uh, they have a lot of videos i have been uploaded uh, for the fmg like the one liners the buzzword series and all so the link will be given in the description box so have a look at all those videos okay thank you so much guys uh, all the best for the exam bye bye